Hello, BookTube. This is Fred, and you're watching Read by Fred. Today I'm going to be doing a book haul. So I picked up three books recently, and I want to share those books with you. So the first book I picked up is The Campaigns of Sargon II, King of Assyria, from 721 to 705 BC. And this is the book. This book was written by Sarah Melville, and it is an Oklahoma University Press book, printed in 2016. It's a 300-page hardcover book, and from what I've seen, there are lots of notes at the end of each chapter, and uh, like lots of notes. So I'm hoping that the book is 75% text and 25% notes, and I'm hoping it's not more because there's lots of notes at the end of each chapter. Wow. Uh, other than that, it's a nice hardback cover book. I'll show you what the book looks like without the slip cover. So the book looks like this. It's got a nice spine to it. And I don't know what it is, but I enjoy it when a book has a nice cover like this, where I can take the spot, the um, slip cover off and just read the book without the slip cover. I am looking forward to this book. And uh, what can I tell you about the book? So the book is going to talk about the 16 year campaigning history of Sargon II. And it's going to focus, it'll probably focus on two major battles. The battle north of Assyria with Uratu and the battle south with Babylon. And I believe the southern battle took place in around 705 BC. Was it 705 or 710 BC? I can't remember. But uh, it looks like it's going to be talking about um, the army of Assyria, uh, logistics, arms and armor, and how they campaigned during those 16 years. So I am looking forward to this book. The second book I picked up was Minoan Crete, An Introduction, and this is from L. Vance Watrous. This is a recent read. I guess I should show you the book. So this is the book. It's a paperback. It's about 230 pages, and it is a, what is it, a Cambridge University Press book. So this book is going to talk about the Minoan civilization on the island of Crete. And it'll probably go through the uh, geography of the island. Let's see what it says here. I'll read you the synopsis. Along with Mesopotamia, Egypt, and the Levant, Minoan Crete was one of the primary cultures of the prehistoric Mediterranean world. In his book, L. Vance Watrous offers an up-to-date overview of this important ancient society using archaeological evidence from palaces, houses, surveys, caves, and mountain shrines, he describes and traces the development of Minoan Crete from the Neolithic era, oh nice, through the Late Bronze Age. Watrous also presents and interprets Minoan artworks in a range of media, including fresco paintings, pottery, and seals, and explains how Minoan Crete affected the culture of classical Greece. So I'm hoping this is not just a dry run of facts and figures. Um, I'm hoping that a story is told here. From what I can see in the book here, it's nicely divided. There are a couple images here and there. Let me see if I can get you some of the images. There are some color images. And do they have any other images here? Oh, they've got the artwork. So I am hoping that this book is going to cover trade around the Aegean Sea uh, with the neighboring civilizations of Egypt and those along the coast of the Levant area or along the coast of the Mediterranean. It'll be interesting to see if the author goes into how extensive that trade was. And um, hopefully it'll talk about how the Minoans protected their shipping lines if they had a standing navy. There's not a lot known about uh, Minoan Crete. So I'm hoping that this book sheds some light for me. So the last book I picked up was actually a recommendation from a YouTuber. And it is Leonardo da Vinci by Isaac Waters. Oh, by Walter Isaacson, I'm sorry. So this is a hardcover book and it's got some pretty good weight to it. If you look at the slipcover itself, it's textured. So uh, the text on the, uh, the slipcover is risen up so you can actually feel that and the actual background uh, is textured as, textured as well so it uh, it almost feels like an oil painting so the book without the slip cover is beautiful so this is the book without the slip cover and this is the spine 
and it is a beautiful burgundy color. I hope that uh, it showed up well in this video. And the book is broken up. Oh, it's got lots of great pictures in it too. Sorry, I just picked it up and I just opened it now. Um, yeah, it's got some pretty nice pictures of uh, Leonardo's drawings. What else does it have here? Oh yeah, a couple paintings. But yeah, so I have read uh, Leonardo da Vinci books in the past, so I'm assuming this is no different. It'll probably, well, as it says, it's a biography of Leonardo da Vinci. So I'm sure it'll talk about his travels throughout Florence, Milan, Rome, France, throughout Italy. And I'm sure it'll talk about his paintings, uh, his notebooks, obviously, and uh, hopefully the science and mathematics that he did. I am looking forward to this book. Oh, wow, that's a nice picture. There's some nice pictures in here. Oh, I should show you this too. This is the inside flap. So I am looking forward to this book. So those are the three books that I've recently picked up. I am pretty much booked for the month of March, and I may not be able to get to these until maybe April. I've got a bunch of other uh, books that uh, I plan on reading for the rest of February and into March. So uh, these will be some fun books to read in April. Anyways, that is my book haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Fred, and you're watching Read by Fred. Milan. Allegorical drawings, okay. Nice. I am looking forward to this Leonardo da Vinci book.